Hey guys, Matt here, and welcome to Bronze Beasts. This is the series on FIFA 13 Ultimate Team, where I take my bronze team, play against some silver teams, some amazing goal teams, and some insane informed teams along the way. Be sure to like, comment, and favour the video if you enjoyed it, guys, and let's get into the video. So welcome to part 4 Bronze Beasts, guys. On the previous episode, we managed to hit the big 1,000 likes on the video, which is just amazing. If we can do the same again, I will upload Silver Stars Part 2 today at 7pm. It's awesome. So every time I buy a new player for Bronze Beast, I list them here for you to see. It gives you a chance to go and play with them yourself, or maybe even try some trading with them too. So I firstly bought Gazelle from Olympic Lyon in Ligue 1. This is a really clever purchase, as he can link up well with Benzia, the French striker, as they are both from Lyon and are both French, and also both have four-star skills guys, which is so useful for Bronze players. Next, I went for the Brazilian centre midfielder Camargo from Houston Dynamo in the MLS, as he can link up well with Kanji and Sarvas, the LA Galaxy midfielder. So welcome to the gameplay of Bronze Beast guys part 4 and oh my god did I play well today. This is probably my best ever game using a bronze team in the history of FIFA guys. You can probably tell I'm quite hyped up for this commentary. It was one of the best ever gameplays I'll probably ever get. It was just, I played amazingly well from the start. I'm not sure if, I had the gold, if it was the golden nuggets I had for breakfast, if I had too much to drink last night. We wanted one of the two. I just had something that made me play really consistently well throughout this game. As you can see, this guy has a pretty okay team. He has a Macedonian team, which you don't really see that often. He also has a Serbian defender there and a few other players from Werder Bremen. But we start with a goal straight from the off. Benzia, the French wonder kid, four-star skills, takes on the whole team, and he gets the goal. Nice finish finish there to make it 1-0 after about one minute or actually two minutes of time there. Benzia straight from the kickoff, nice celebration to get the goal. And I mean, what a goal. And it just went from it went from great to amazing to insane as this game progresses guys you're going to see in this episode it's so awesome to play this this game but Benzi again is on the key uh, the key the key maestro the French maestro gets another rebound and Westcar with a nice finish in the top left corner there Craig Westcar with a one with a one arm push up what a celebration Mr Westcar that is one hell of a only Bruce Lee can do that so well, actually Bruce Lee could do a finger press up so push up so that was interesting but Westcar with the goal there a nice goal and that was 2-0 and it was soon to be 3-0 Benzi with the ball again does a nice chip through ball to Westcar volley bottom right corner Westcar and bronze teams guys on FIFA 13 are just brilliant I never I actually thought on FIFA 13 they might kind of clamp down on how good bronze teams can play but if you play aggressively if you play with a nice form of attack every time you play FIFA guys you'll really do well and just play aggressively and here we go again this was really lucky from this guy own goal 4-0 after not long how long is that actually it's only yeah 18 minutes of time 4-0 already so the maths will add up in this game Westcar again is on the ball, does a nice fake shot and somehow gets around all the, these defenders with so much ease and gets the goal to make a 5-0 after 23 minutes. I can't keep up. Westcar with a nice front flip there. But yeah guys, who do you think is the best centre midfielder bronze? Who is, who, is, who is the best bronze centre midfielder? I really want to get like a better English CM. I've got Gary McSheffrey, who's, who is good by the way, as you can see here. McSheffrey with another goal to make a 6-0 after about 36 minutes, guys. Who do you think is the best centre midfielder bronze CM? Let me know in the comments below really want to get your feedback on that it's something that i want to improve at the position that for me i've got a few good players but i want to get a few more for the same but there's a tramp goal by the way there's a there's a tramp goal by revel morrison the bad boy bronze beast and here we go again westcar with some nice dribbling westcar does not need like force of skills he just dribbles past players with so much confidence and there's the goal to make it eight nil after 44 minutes guys an absolutely insane start and capped off there with a one-arm push-up which by the way is unbelievably difficult to do in real life if you can try it now in your room if you're watching this if you're watching this on your iphone then uh, do one-arm push-up see if you can as you can see there guys we're going to half time eight nil up and welcome to and let's go into uh, barry scott's bank of the week barry scott's bank of the week he would always win the fight, bang, bang, he shot me down, bang, bang, I hit the ground, bang, bang, that awful sound, bang, bang, my baby shot me down, 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 down. So let's get straight into the second half, guys, of this breath of bronze beast. And this guy does get a goal back. He gets a goal there with Noveski, one of his Macedonian players. And it's really annoying because I thought, you know, that goal was a bit lucky. But to be honest, this guy, was he was really suffering in this game with the goals they scored against. But he gets another goal back. Was the comeback on? Well, we will shortly see. He gets a goal there with his centre midfielder, Trudovsky. Then we get a bit lucky with Taylor. Has two awful shots. And then the third attempt gets the goal 
to make it 9-2, guys. What is your most? What is the most goals you've ever scored in a game on FIFA 13 Ultimate Team? This is actually the record for the series so far, guys, on Bronze Beasts. We've scored 9 so far. Can we make it into double figures? Well, yes, we can. The ball gets to Gazelle, and the near post finish is deadly on FIFA 13. It is brilliant. That is my tip of the day. The tip of the day for this video, guys, is to use the is to use the uh, the near post finish when you are on goal one on one situation like this a really good if you have a player if you have a striker or player who can who can really use that near post finish with a power shot it's brilliant hope you enjoyed this episode of bronze beast guys it's, for me probably the best ever gameplay i've ever got on the history of using a bronze team on fifa if we hit the big 1000 likes by today then i'll be uploading the next episode of silver stars today at 7 p.m it's a really special video it's going to be awesome been doing a lot of filming for it so hope you enjoyed this video guys and i'll see you then who should I buy next? Bievu or Jones? Comment below.